Okay, let's see if this uh, works today. And um, this is uh, Fedora Spin, I guess they call it Spin, with different desktops. And this is the Fedora XFCE desktop that I'm running in GNOME boxes. Um, yeah, I, I like Fedora. I like Fedora. I'm tempted by Fedora. I just have my Debian 8 system running so well lately that I don't think I should switch it for anything. There have been some weird things. I didn't add much to this. I added a few things. And it, and it does, again, Fedora doesn't come with much, really. I mean, you can see this is what you have in administration, some accessories, leaf pad and XF burn. Uh, Genie you get though. Let me see graphics, just some, well, the image viewer and a document viewer. Of course, Firefox transmission comes with this though, in the XFCE version. You get some more media. I think you don't get, it's hard to remember whether you get as many multimedia programs in the GNOME version, maybe different ones. This one's actually pretty cool. Um, it's not so different from Audacious or, um, hmm, it's not quite like Clementine. Well, I'll open it. And um, you can see. You see, and you can play the song if you want. Myself, I'm always worried about copyright and silly things like this. That's the other thing I wanted to talk about. The only thing I can see that's kind of weird, like for instance, you probably can see up here, if I click my volume, I get a volume, you know? If I click a volume in the, this is what I get. And um, that doesn't help me. I looked around and tried to install something. You know, I, I installed the equalizer. Well, it's just an equalizer, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not going to help me there. The point is I haven't been able to find anything as simple as a way to just turn the volume up and down. Maybe that's me being kind of dumb or what have you, but that's that's the way it is. Uh, in the XFC version, you get Abbey Word rather than LibreOffice. One thing about Fedora I've noticed is even in a virtual machine, it's rather fast. It runs well. It's fast. It's easy. The command line is easy, as I said on my Fedora GNOME video. DNF is a very good, um, you know, substitute for, well, I guess for app git if you're accustomed to Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, or Debian. And you know, one thing that it, that I was drawn to Fedora because is because well. It's, I am a US uh, person and it is American Linux. As far as I can tell from any of the background I've been able to find, it is in, sponsored by Red Hat, which is uh, a uniquely an American uh, company. Um, but yeah, the XFCE version is good. If only I could figure out where the volume control is. Um, but everything else is A-OK. -okay. I think I have to stick with my Debian setup just simply out of, um, you know, uh, because it's the devil you know better than the devil you don't know. or Well, really, because it's been working so well. All right, so I guess, guess that's going to be it for this one.